friends, Laura Ayers with Pampered Chef here. I want to show you one of my, this is actually one of my favorite recipes. It's an auto risotto dish. And it came out several years ago, so um, before our electric gizmos. So I want to show you an adaptation of it because it truly is a very easy recipe and just very full of flavor and it just reminds me of fall. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our quick cooker on. We're going to hear, use the sear function, okay? So we're going to put it to the sear function, push start, and we're going to get that toasted up, okay? And then we're going to, we're going to add a little bit of oil to this, and we're going to mix in our onion and our rice. Now tonight we're using an arborio rice. This is your risotto rice. Okay, so now I am doubling the recipe tonight, so I'll have some leftovers for lunch this week. And so you're going to see my quantities off from the recipe. And the recipe actually does lots of stuff in the microwave. And I'm just modifying this to use our quick cooker so that we can do everything in here. Okay, so a couple of things. So now that this is getting hot, you don't want to add your oil too soon. Oil can actually break down and change the flavor. Just and butter does too, but in a different way. Brown butter actually enhances the flavor. So sometimes you'll read a, in fact, Pamper Chef has a recipe called brown butter uh, tortellini and ham, something like that. And so the brown butter actually creates this nutty flavor that really makes it super yummy. Well, we don't, that doesn't happen with oil. So we don't wanna add the oil to this super soon, okay? But this is nice and warm. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and add my oil and you can tell when your pan is ready because that oil gets that shimmering look to it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our onion and you can hear the sizzle. Okay, we're going to add our onion our oil and our rice okay now because my kid doesn't like onion i only did like a small onion but it'll be fine so we're gonna add our rice in there and this actually will cook for a few minutes okay because we're actually going to toast that rice okay so we're just going to let it do its thing for a couple of minutes and don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with you seeing this entire recipe, but I just want to show you kind of the nuts and bolts of it, okay? So one of the things that you are going to do in this recipe is it has cranberries. And so you're actually going to take hot water and soak your cranberries, your dried cranberries, so that they get soft, okay? So that's what those are doing over there. Now some of you are noticing the wine and like, what's going on? Well, this recipe actually uses a Chardonnay. Now you don't have to use that. You can use other, uh, just water if you want. But remember water doesn't have flavor. So the thing is, is when we cook, look, whether you love to do it or hate to cook, either way, you want your food to taste good, okay? And so sometimes that just means we have to make sure the ingredients uh, are spot on, right? All right, so we have this, we're letting it toast for a few minutes, and then we're going to add in a couple of other things. We're going to add in our stock, which is this right here. Okay, so I just have, um, my little container is not with me. I have, I just buy a little container of stuff to add into hot water, and that's what I use for my stock. So I'm letting this cook for just a few more minutes, okay? And I'm going to show you our wine bottle opener. So this right here is the foil cutter. So that's what I use to remove it. And then we're going to, super easy guys, right? And then it goes the opposite way. So it'll push it right out, okay? This will open 60 bottles of wine without you having to recharge it. So Monday's covered, yay! All right, so, oh, here's my stock, my broth. This is what I use, just bouillon stuff, okay? And so we're gonna keep, we wanna make sure we don't burn the stuff in here. Okay, and a wine bottle opener. Now we're gonna add some salt and pepper. 
Salt and pepper is super important, right? Okay, now we're gonna add our broth. Now this is important too, guys, because we want to make sure we have enough broth for our rice because we're going to cover this up and then it's going to cook, okay? So now we've added our salt and pepper. We're going to add our wine. So this says to actually use three quarters cup of wine. Well, why dirty another container, right? So since we're doubling, we're going to do this. That's about right. And then we are going to add in... That's it. That's all we add in, okay? I haven't made this recipe in a while. So, we're going to put this right here, and we're going to put it, we're going to turn it off, and we're going to put it on the white rice function, okay? Now, the recipe says that we would cook this in the microwave for 13 minutes. But because of the pressure cooker function, we're going to cook it for five, okay? Now, here's a tip. Because we already had it hot with the sear function, it's gonna take less time to come up to pressure. So that's something to know. Now, microwave grips, if you get these, they'll be gray, mine's old, it's red. But we, this recipe actually calls for toasted almonds. I did that in the air fryer. It says to do it in the skillet, but why do that? The air fryer did it super easy in like three minutes, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, this little parchment sheet I got on Amazon, um, but that's totally what I did right there, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, so now what we would do is, I totally forgot to add the chicken. Do you guys cook like this where you just forget to add stuff and then um, that's just how it goes, right? So what I was supposed to know, so if you do this, so here, stop, okay? We're gonna, there was no pressure building up anyway, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken, <coughs> excuse me, okay? So that way it's all at once, you guys, okay? Remember I'm modifying this recipe so my brain just didn't kick in. So now, okay? Now we are going to go to the chicken setting, okay? And we are gonna cook this for 15 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have celery we're gonna to add to this. Once this is cooked, okay, then I'll release the steam and we will add celery, our cranberries, and cream cheese. And then our toasted almonds will be on top. So I'll post a picture of the finished product. Take care.